If you're looking to host your own Minecraft server 24 seven without having to leave your computer on, then I recommend Apex Minecraft Hosting. This is an affordable, but yet still powerful and very user-friendly host, and you can find a link to it in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And once you already clicked on the link, you will be sent to a page similar to this one where you can click on Get Started to start setting up your own server. On the next page, you can select whatever game you want. We're going to be using Minecraft. Scrolling down, here you can select your preferred currency as well as the performance you want on your machine. Now, if you're running 1.18 or higher, I recommend you use at least the three gigabytes of RAM. The performance on the recent Minecraft servers are going to be something that requires this much resources. However, feel free to select whichever one you want if you know that one plan is going to fit your use case better than others. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that three gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna click on order now. Here at the top, we're going to enter whether we want to pay monthly or pay quarterly, which has a discount per month. I'm going to select monthly here. Here we can enter the Minecraft username so it can automatically give us operator. Mine is Alexander Flores, but of course you can enter your own name here. Now here's an optional subdomain. Mine's going to be worn off keys. And this subdomain is going to attach to .apexmc.co. So there's an easy IP address you can share with your friends so they can join the server as well. Now, next we have Minecraft server version. By default, this is 1.18, but if you select this dropdown, then you can go through and search for other ones, other games, as well as different types of mod packs. But for now, I'm going to select vanilla 1.18. Then next we have the server location. So this is where your server will be hosted. And there's a lot of different options all over the world. I'm located in California. So I'm going to select San Jose, California right here. And also every option here is gonna have a test ping button. So you can see which one has the better ping. The lower the number here, the better. So choose whichever one best fits your current location. Now here we have some extra stuff that you may not need. Go ahead and look over this to see if anything actually fits your use case. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to include any of these extra options here. I could then click on continue on this right side. And then this page is going to show a review of our entire order. We're going to pay 1124 US dollars a day, but then every month after this one, it's going to be 1499 US dollars per month. I could then click on checkout. And then here on the checkout page, I already have an account, so everything is pre-filled for me. But if you're new to Apex, then you might have to enter in all of your billing information. So go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you on the next section. Now, after your order is complete, you'll be sent to a page similar to this one. Here, you're going to have a getting started video, which you can watch, but we're going to cover most of the things covered in this video within the video you're watching right now. Scrolling down further, there's even more information in a text form if you're interested in that. But what we're most interested in is that we have to check our email address for the new server information. So I've now received that email and here we have a bunch of numbers and this is the technical IP address that we can use to connect. We can either connect using this IP address or using the custom subdomain name that we set up in a previous step. But before we do that, let's try logging into the panel. On your email, you should have a panel login with a password and a panel login button. Go ahead and click on that button. And after you log in with the information they give you, you should see a screen similar to this one. Now here we have the IP address and port, and here we have a copy button where we can simply click on this and it's going to copy this entire IP address to our clipboard so we can easily paste it in to connect using Minecraft. So now I have Minecraft open and I'm going to add a server and this server is going to be called Apex Tutorial. And then within the address, I can now use Control V or Command V on a Mac to paste in all these numbers, which is what we copied right here. Now I can click on Done. And here we see Apex Tutorial, and we see that it is online. So I can go ahead and double click on this to connect to it. I've now spawned in, and we're on top of this tree, but this is our own Minecraft server. So this is one way we can connect to this. Another way is if I go back to the server and I click on Edit, we can actually enter in the entire subdomain that we entered at the start. So for example, here we have subdomain and here we see warnoffkeys.apexmc.co. Of course, yours might be different, but I can go ahead and click on this copy icon again. And now I can paste this in right here. And this is a much more user-friendly domain name, which you can share with your friends. I can then click on done. And if I refresh, the server will still be online. If I connect to it, we are still on top of the same exact tree. So now that I'm on my server, I want to make sure that I have op. So for example, game mode creative. And here I do have access to creative mode. So I do have operator. But if you don't, you want to go over to the console tab on your Apex panel. And within here, you can type an op and then a space and then your username. In my case, that would be Alexander Flores. But of course, you can enter in whatever your username is. Now, this will act like any Minecraft console. For example, we can check our plugins. We can check about the server and anything else you could do in a standard Minecraft console. But how do you actually upload files to your own server? So let's go ahead and click on back. And there are a couple different places we can do this. The first place, which is where you probably will start, is the config files. 
So unlike other hosts where you have to download files, edit them, and then re-upload them, you can actually change these all within the control panel here. So for example, with server properties, I can click on this, and then I can change all the different fields here. For example, the game mode by default is survival, but I can change this to creative if I want to. I could then scroll down and click on save, and then we can restart the server now, or we can restart later, which is what I'm going to do because I have more things I want to change. So now I can go back one more time. We can go to plugin list. And then here we see a bunch of different plugins which we can directly download from Apex. So for example, I can search up Essentials. And then here we see Essentials X, where I can simply click on this. And then I can click on install right here. Now, if you already have .jar files that you want to upload, we can go back. We can go back one more time. And then here we can go to our FTP file access. And here's where you can directly access all the files on your server. So you can upload your own worlds, upload your own plugins, do anything like that. So once you're here, simply click on login. Now, once you've logged in, you will see all the files and folders for your server. For example, here's your main world, your nether world, and your end world. Here we see all the configuration files. And we also see a plugins folder right here. So if I click on that, I can then click on upload. And here I can upload all of my actual plugin files and all their configurations into the plugins folder. And if you want to go back to the previous directory, don't click on back right here. You want to click on up right here. This will send you to the previous directory. And then from here, you can upload your own worlds or files into the main directory for your server. Now, once you're done editing everything within the FTP client, you can then click on back right here and then back one more time. And then here you're on the main page with all the customization. Now, once you've made all the changes, you can simply click on restart. So the server just restarted here. As you can see, another server is back on. So all the changes you just made have now taken place. And so this is how you're going to host your own Minecraft server using Apex Minecraft Hosting.